Welcome back to the channel guys. Hope you guys are having a great day. Before today's video gets started, I want to show you something that I thought was kind of cool. If you guys remember the last merch shop, I took this shelf, okay? I took all my stuff off that shelf and I put sweaters on it and, I, and then I had like boxes and I stacked the boxes and put sweaters on the boxes because I didn't have any shelving. And I finally went out yesterday and bought like some uh, like industrial kind of shelving for the merch. It's like so official. It just looks so much cooler and I'm stoked. This is so sick. We got the khaki ones and the black ones and then this is what I picked up the other day when I went out with you guys. And then we're getting a second hat made and we're gonna get sweaters and some stuff too for the next drop. And I also found a couple leftover t-shirts from like way back. Um, so I'll sell these probably too for a little bit cheaper. Every time we have a merch drop, I feel like there's people that get left out and there's people that like miss their chance and the same people that maybe they're working when the merch goes live or whatever. Every time they're like, yo, I missed the merch. What the f I tried to get a little bit extra this time. I tried to get a little bit more quantity. I know shelving is like the stupidest thing to start a video with, but it just feels official. It feels cool. Let's go outside. Okay, so I actually have a little bit of a different plan now. I spent a, <laughs> a couple hours yesterday watching videos on like doing the wire tuck and stuff. And I kind of decided I want to go a little bit more extreme with the wire tuck than I originally thought. I was watching different people do it and like the different ways they did it. And at the end of it, I was like, you know what? It's really not that much work to do it just a little bit nicer. So I think we're going to go just a little bit more than I thought we were in the first place. Um, but we will get to that eventually. So basically today's plan, I want to get this painted and I want to get that stupid valve cover painted. And I did go out and pick up paint stripper. So I'm just gonna use paint stripper on this. Cause I've wet sanded it. I wanna get all the little like dusts and all the little garbage out. I wanna just spray down this entire engine bay and just like wash it with some uh, like dish soap just to make sure that all the grease and everything is gone. Don't fall off. Uh-oh, uh-oh. Dude, Jasmine could use a full body wash. Look at that. You're dirty. I don't have a crazy plan. I just know that like dish soap is really good at getting rid of grease and oils and stuff. So we're gonna dish soap and kind of just wing it and hope for the best. And I think that's clean. Dish soap stuff definitely did a good job though, because like you can see right here just how much like more grease is on this side than there is on this side. So hopefully that's good enough. That's where I'm gonna call it. I'm just gonna blow it all dry really quickly. Thank you for shutting up. I just hit it with the compressor so that like inside all these little cracks and seams where the metal joins and stuff, it blows out. So it looks pretty good, it looks pretty dry. Okay, so we're gonna let Jasmine just kind of chill in here for a little bit. I think I dried most of it, but we're just gonna let whatever just air dry a little bit more. And while it does, I'm gonna try and work on this valve cover. I think it should, the paint stripper should do a pretty good job at this point because like we've stripped through most of it. It's just like down in these grooves and stuff that was like impossible to get to. This stuff says that it's like super, super potent and we're gonna need to be in here for the rest of the day like painting and stuff, so I don't wanna absolutely blow us out of the garage, so. Let's go out here and set up a little. Dude, my, my recycling guy should like get a raise. You know how much recycling he takes from me just like every week? Everybody, every single one of you guys commented that I should get this stuff, and a couple of like my friends recommended it as well, so hopefully it's good stuff. Oh, that is weird. I don't know what I expected it to be, but, but look at that. You can literally see it just bubbling the paint right off. Also, I saw some of you guys commenting like, how come I don't paint the underside of the hood? That hood, we cut the hole for the screamer pipe set up for this motor. So we're not putting that motor back in. I don't know how this other one's gonna work. Um, I actually located a used turbo manifold that I'm probably gonna pick up for this motor, but I don't know how, where it's gonna be located. I don't know where the screamer pipe's gonna come out. Um, most likely, <laughs> we probably ruined this hood. I don't wanna waste my time painting that hood when chances are we're not gonna use it again. Chances are it's probably butchered. But I've let that stuff sit out there for a couple minutes, so let's go see. No way, that's too easy. Oh my god, it's so potent. So everything's gonna come off like that? <gasps> Mint. This thing used to be red too, what the hell? How many colors was this thing? If any of you guys are doing any painting, I'll leave a link to this stuff down below if you guys wanna pick some up like that. Uh, actually really impressed me how good that stuff works. Three hours later. Okay, so I may or may not have spent the last, the last three hours sanding down this valve cover. Basically because we didn't get a good enough chance to do it like two days ago when we did this originally. 
and I didn't want to do a really bad job on the valve cover and a good job everywhere else. So, spent a lot longer than I had planned on it, but look how good it looks. It's like, <laughs> dude, it's perfect. It's ready for paint. Oh yeah, I told you guys I was gonna do this differently. So here, let's see if we can do that now, actually. Pretty much put this back into the car, and then it came out um, of this hole here. Put it through a different way. I'll, I'll show you guys later, but for now, what I'm gonna do is try and get as much of this into the car as I can. There we go. God, that is a thick freaking boot. Dude, that was hard to get in there. Oh, found it. It's behind this freaking rubber mat thing. Oh, come on, you're so close. Sweet, okay. So this is the entire <laughs> entire wiring harness that was just in the engine bay. Yeah, I'm glad I don't have to deal with that today. We'll just go backwards. Oh, dude, that one went in so much easier. The other one took me like 10 minutes. Is this hole you can find from the floorboard? It's like right up there, and this one, it's like in behind all your air things, boxes, filters, you know what I'm saying? Man, I got the dirty palms, I gotta go clean these guys up so I don't get grease all in the engine bay. So what I think would be best for these now that I've pulled them out, is if I like take some paper towel, kind of shove it all in behind here. That way when I'm painting, at least I don't paint like right into the car. And then all I have to do is like tape up the brake booster, throw some of this paper over like all the steering rack and stuff, and then we should be good. Finally, we will finally be good. Hey Ming. Do you have to chuck up a deuce for your Instagram thing? I did chuck a deuce in your closet. You dick, how long have you been here for? 15 minutes, fucker. <laughs> I picked up some of this stuff, um, just like drapes, because if you guys remember, remember when we plastic dipped the car in here, we didn't really tape anything off, we just kind of put like a roll of plastic on the floor and then dipped the car, which was fine, it worked, but like afterwards, there was dip on everything. There was dip on the walls, there was dip on the tools, there was plastic dip everywhere, so it is not gonna be as easy to get off, so I just picked up a whole roll of this plastic stuff, and I'm pretty much just gonna cover like the car and then try and make like a little paint booth square around the car, I guess. I don't know. Do you want to help me do that? Actually, here, wait, before you start draping stuff, let me blow this off one more time. Well, it's as clean as it's gonna get. I blew it out again after I put the wiring harness through. Some of the dirt and shit fell in there, so it's pretty good. We'll just do this because I want to leave this in case it gets seen because that just sits on top of it, so I want it to be like as nice as possible. Do you want to literally just like circle off on the ceiling like around where we're gonna be painting? <laughs> Okay, and this one's the door. Or like kind of door? What are we doing here? It's good enough, I think. Yeah. You wanna hit that side with some tape? And then tape this one together, and I'll just use the other side as the door. There you go. I think we're ready to go, dude. This is sick. I'm actually stoked. Like, welcome to our little paint booth. Everything's pretty much taped off. Everything's pretty good. I put a vote on my Instagram a couple days ago and I let you guys pick the color of this thing. If you guys don't like this color, it's all on you. I thought you guys would have picked more of like a color, like the car's red. I told you it was gonna be darker red. I thought you guys might have picked like purple or like something. But you guys picked black of all the colors. Like 90% of the votes were black. So instead of going just black, I picked up Courtney actually found this when we were at Lorico. We picked up the coolest black we could find. Look at this. Can you get a good focus on that? It's called Black Effects. It's like, it's got all this like little metallic-y stuff in it. I feel like it's gonna be really hard to see on camera. Kinda like brown. It looks kinda brown. Yeah, it's like weird. I was like, if you guys are gonna go black, whatever, but like, I don't wanna just do a normal black. And then I picked up some clear coat and then we have primer some, oh right there, we have primer too, so. And then if we do this with the matching valve cover and every, like, basically, if we paint it black, a lot of stuff will hide better too. So like all the, all the wires and stuff that we don't tuck will be kind of more hidden. And uh, I don't know, I feel like it could look pretty clean. It was not a color I was thinking of doing, but it doesn't mean it's a bad color, it's just wasn't what I was thinking. Except today it's not Robbie Repairs and Emerson does it, it's just Robbie Repairs and Robbie Repaints. <laughs> that wasn't even funny. Yeah, it was. Nice try. Black. It was funny. Should we just start right now? Yep. Send it. You want a new battery for the camera? It looks like it's about to. Oh. Give them a satisfaction they couldn't get any other way. That's good for a first coat. Yep, I think we should do like that. Color blind gray. Color blind gray. Dude, this shit is burning my eyes. Can you feel it in your eyes? I can feel it in my chest. <laughs> <laughs> Leave the door open, I don't care. But that looks all right. It doesn't, I mean, it's nothing special. It just looks like primer, but I was worried about the can sizing. 
I was worried this wouldn't be enough. No, 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 but so the, how much we use out of this, the other cans are a little bit shorter, right? Because they're like specialty colors. So I bought like four of them. Yeah. So that should give us four coats. That should be plenty. Okay, cool. I was worried about that. I'm not trying to get it perfectly. I'm just trying to get the primer on there. Um, when it comes to like doing the actual paint colors, I'll try and make sure that they line up a bit better, that they're like thicker and get like a better finish. But as far as primer, it's like really hard to get good angles, obviously inside an engine bay to paint it. So I'm just doing the best I can just to get coverage for now. Do you want to do some painting or do you want to just hold the camera? Okay. That's number two. It's actually drying up really nice. It's looking like really solid, which is cool. It looks like it'll be sick if it actually looks like the can. Like if that's what it looks like, then that's gonna be unreal. I just hope it looks like that and not just like the lid. I was just black. Oh no, we're losing drapes. Stay, stay, stay away from my paint. I don't ask you to do much. Just stay there for me, please. <laughs> How's it going? Oh, I gotta be so aggressive. You are dead to me. What the fuck, dude? Shit. What do you think? You're a bartender? <laughs> Yo, whip me up a margarita. <laughs> you ready for the moment of truth? Let's see if this is just black or if it's actually got oh, some cool colors. Okay. Was it actually not recording? No, it was recording. Yeah, <laughs> Did I have to say it again? What? Are you ready to see if this is just black or if it's just oh, what like... what the hell? It's not recording. Oh, I'm gonna punch you out. Where'd you get that sweater? That sweater? I got it on eBay. They sell knockoffs for like five bucks. Mine only came with this one. Did Man. you know these are gonna be restocked again soon? Man. You got like two, two, three weeks and then we're gonna have a full inventory of sweaters, baby. Mine also comes with a hole from the factory. What are you talking about? Right here. <laughs> You're such a dunce sometimes. Alright, you ready? <laughs> you copy me over there? Oh. <laughs> That's me, dude. Dude, it just looks kind of black. But maybe when it dries, it'll be a little bit more, a little bit more flaky. I hope so. I hope it doesn't dry like black like that. What else is just scandy and it's just actually just black? I don't know if Emerson recorded it. I was painting the first coat, and all of a sudden the wall just came right down. Like this whole thing. Look, there it goes again. What the hell? So like I opened the garage door because apparently it smelled inside the house a little bit. So I opened the garage door and this whole thing just went <laughs> onto the ground and Emerson had to fix it. Tape was probably not the best idea to hold this to the roof. Looks pretty good actually after two coats, but I'm having a lot of trouble on that corner. I'll have to show you the effect on the valve cover once we get a couple more coats, cause it's sick. Like I'm colorblind and I saw a lot of colors. So it's it's gotta be pretty cool. <laughs> You can't see anything, but watch this. Are you guys ready to see some effect? This isn't perfect because it's not in the sun. I, I believe the sun would probably do it better. Let's get a good focus here. I don't. I hope they could see it. Oh, <laughs> dude, look at that. That is so cool. It's got like a full rainbow to it. Do you want to carry it to the sun and see how much we can see? Turn it up towards the sun a little bit more for the camera. No, other way. Where is it? It's so hard to see it on the camera. Oh. Oh, right there you can kind of tell. Oh, dude, that's so cool. You guys have to come see this. You have to, if you guys are near any shows that we're at all summer long, come by and see this, because this is sick. See if they can see it on this little piece here. Oh, dude, you can see it's so good in here. <laughs> dude, that is so sick. Imagine that in like the summer when the sun is just like, <laughs> up above. How many layers of clear do you think I should do? Two or three? I probably end up doing three. So excited for Jasmine, baby. We got Civic 2.0, so Jasmine, Jasmine, coming in hot. Do you like the name Jasmine? Kind of, I was like, when I named it, I was like, I'm just gonna name the car Jasmine because it's funny, whatever, like, it's the Jasmine rice, it's the better rice. And then like, I keep calling it Jasmine, and the more I call it Jasmine, the more it like, I feel it right here in my heart. Late for dinner right now? Apparently. Where are you supposed to be? More <laughs> Apparently everyone's like, we're waiting for you. I'm like, I don't think I said I was going. <laughs> no, I don't remember. You had notes to do tonight anyways, right? I have homework to do. Okay. Go do your homework, go for down there. Okay, I see you tomorrow. See you, buddy. Okay, so what I want to do now is I probably don't have much sunlight left. 
I'd say we about have about an hour of sunlight left. So what I want to do, I want to rip down all these plastics so that the whole garage can air out so that it doesn't stink up the house too bad. Because Courtney said inside it, it does smell a bit. So let's get all these plastics just down for now. I'm just going to open this up. Wrong way, buddy. Wrong way. There you go. The amount of stuff we've done in this tiny garage is unreal. I saw a conversation in the comments the other day. I really do love reading your guys' comments. Like I, I just, it makes me feel good. Like I have like this community down below this video right now. There's a community of people that are here because of me and you're all good people. I just want to, I've said this before, but I just want to say thank you guys because there's a lot of people whose comment section is just disgusting and it's just people being assholes, everybody. And like my comment section is generally really good. So thank you guys for being part of like a really good audience. I really do appreciate it. But I was reading some comments and someone was like, yo, I have a garage the same size as you. Like there's no way I could do anything you do. But like I have like a full YouTube channel. I do this every day and this is what I do. And I do it out of this tiny one car garage. It's not the best, it's not ideal. It make it work, man. You work with what you got. Dude, I'm actually stoked with how this looks. It looks kind of boring and like fully black. And I've showed you guys enough times, but I think it's really sick. So we're gonna take one more look at this effect. But just like, just picture this here and pretend, <laughs> pretend my heater, okay? Pretend my heater is like the engine and pretend it's also the same color. And I just open this at a car show and from like a distance, you just see this. How friggin' cool is this gonna be? We've also put in a good day's work. I think we deserve a neutral. I was also thinking of doing something like this on the new valve cover because this was like, uh, I don't know, I really enjoyed this. I thought it looked really cool. We are planning on getting a VTEC head for this guy. Not yet, not yet. It's not like a, I'm gonna get one next week kind of thing, but it's currently in the plans to probably get a VTEC head. So I figured instead of putting a bunch of time into this valve cover and then just taking it back off, I'll just wait. We'll put the extra little touch on the VTEC one when we get it. Also, just sold these boys. These bad boys have just been sold. The TM7s were just sold. Guys coming to pick them up soon. I have new wheels coming for the BRZ. I uh, didn't really tell you guys about it. I just kind of did it. And they should be hot. It's a whole new color scheme. We're going with a whole change up. The whole BRZ is getting a redo. I've seen it before. I've seen it done before. And I think it's hot. It's not rare, but it looks good. For reference to the list, because I know I told you guys I was going to start keeping track of everything on this list. I paid about 100 bucks for all the paint. I got four cans of these, and like I said, I kept one. Um, four cans of those, two cans of, two cans of clear, two cans of primer, and I also bought this uh, paint stripper. This was like $20 for the can. And, oh, and this was $10. So about 130 bucks to paint the engine bay and the valve cover. You got to, I guess, divvy it up into both. So 130 bucks, I painted this and I painted the valve. Oh, I should probably bring that inside. It's probably getting really cold out here. I'm gonna let this cure for like maybe two days just so that it's 100% dry and cure before I start putting stuff back and like you try and put something in there and you like nick it and scratch it. So I'm gonna go inside and eat some dinner with Courtney and then I'm gonna go meet this guy so I can sell these wheels. I hope you guys are stoked. I hope you guys enjoy this color. It's something I would never have picked but now that it's in there, like I, even when I Googled photos of it, I was like, really? I don't really like that. Like you guys chose this, but like it's not something I would have chose. But now that it's in there, I am stoked. So I'll catch you guys next time. Thank you guys so much for watching. Peace out and stay committed. What if I took my hand off after the outro? What if like the whole outro reeled and then I was like and I talk to you guys. Maybe that should be my thing. Maybe I should put my hand there so the outro can roll and then I can move my hand so the outro can be done. Comment Dupla Color if you guys made it this far. Dupla Color. Alright. Peace.